one day one concept today we want to understand the concept of how much speed an electron moves in the wire or you may ask what is the speed of electricity so the answer you can think of how much it is you normally we think it is a much higher or something is dramatic or somebody wrongly will say that it is a maybe speed of light he said so no so the speed of electron is only 1 mm per second it is less than the snail speed it is less than the snail just take a moment and realize this number the number should strike the head the number should strike the brain human speed is normally you can say half meter to 1 meter per second you can walk half meter or uh, one meter in a second so electron is moving one millimeter per second that is a really surprising one uh, now a lot of this should strike and a lot of questions should come it is less than the electron speed in the copper wire or of one millimeter per second is less than the snail speed so a lot of questions should come then what are the questions should come then if electrons move so slowly then how can a switch if we are switching on turning on a lamp but lamp is uh, glowing instantaneously it is uh, moving with 1 mm per second then how it is a uh, uh, light uh, or uh, light turned up instantaneously like that question should come then what is a mechanism so this 1 mm per second speed of uh, electron is less than the snail's pace normally we use snail pace in our life so uh, that is applicable electron is uh, less than the snail's pace but still it is a uh, dust huge wonders so now the effect simulation or like you can do the website is given what thing we have to understand the circuit is open simple circuit on battery on one uh, lamp you can notice everywhere electron is there everywhere everywhere throughout the circuit everywhere electrons are there once you close the circuit or complete the circuit every electron instantaneously moves instantaneously moves actually what is happening the battery signals through the complete circuit that signal is electrical field that travels light velocity so every electron is moving 1 mm per second but instantaneously every electron moves so the electron in the bulb also moves instantaneously so it glows it, uh, instantaneously that is it but the electron moves only 1 mm per second so that is a question so we how to understand we have to understand three speeds one is electron is not at rest electron can only at rest forbidden so electrons are moving here and there that is called thermal motion that speed is 1 lakh millimeter per second 1 lakh millimeter per second so electrons are moving thermally so that is a, we have individual electron thermal velocity then electron drift velocity because of the applied electrical signal the battery sends signal the circuit is closed some signal is sent that the signal is called electrical field that signal travels light velocity that is signal velocity because of that signal electron drifts that is drift velocity that drift velocity is 1 mm per second okay that uh, the signal velocity is light velocity 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second uh, the individual electron thermal velocity is uh, 1 lakh millimeter per second the drift velocity which makes the bulb to glow is only 1 millimeter per second realize that now uh, so it should strike so normally the electron goes 
free electron goes and hits the atom of the crystal structure and uh, deflected back to another atom at path number 2 then again getting deflected path number 3 again it is getting deflected path number 4 and it is almost order average it reaches the original position so net movement is not there it cannot move net otherwise it will violate the conservation of energy so net motion is not there suppose now we are closing the circle we are applying an optical field we are applying an optical field signals battery signals this signal goes with light velocity instantaneously travels entire circle so every electron is getting signal every electron in the circuit is getting signal so every electron is moving with thermally one one lakh millimeter per second now now the pattern continues same you can see white and yellow pattern continues same but the electron now from its original position drifts somewhat forward one millimeter per second this is called drift velocity so on closing the circuit we get the signal velocity which is equal to light velocity actually thermal Electrons that due to thermal motion, electrons are moving with one lakh millimeter per second. But because of the signal, every electron in the circuit moves continuously and instantaneously. That instantaneous movement getting signal in the bulb glows instantaneously. That way it works. So, in your book, 10th book, in your 10th book, that only they are telling the flow of charges inside a wire, how metal conduct electricity. So electron is moving only uh, drifting with only one millimeter per second. So it depends on what. So how it works. So beautifully they are asking one question. Last line, underline. Do you feel like probing this question at an advanced level? Uh, this is not advanced. You should you, as a tenth, you should not stay at here. There is a large gap in there. So now it's only go to advanced thing. In same, you are going to calculate in 12th the drift velocity. The drift velocity is directly proportional to the current, inversely proportional to the number of free electrons. Like that, you are going to calculate inversely proportional to the area of the conductor. That you are going to do. So now it's only you probe, and you should strike. The electron moves only one millimeter per second slow, but it is steady and wins the race. So we have to also slowly one day one concept you have to learn and you have to win the race. So you have to, you have to answer this question and you should strike the concept that the speed of electron in the conducting wire is only one millimeter per second less than the snail's pace. It is wonderful. It should strike. That is our concept today.